So your personal statement is one of the first things that we look at when considering applicants for interview. So it's important that you get it right. And in that, we're wanting to see why you're interested in, in counselling as a professional, what particularly has inspired you to apply for this course, and what professional qualities or personal qualities you think you have that you can bring to this course. And then finally, we're looking to see, have you thought about what you might do with this in your future career? So where it might take you. And also just to be aware that we look at your ability to write academically, to structure your, your statement in a way that it flows and is easy to read, and also that your spelling and your grammar is, is acceptable. So to help you think about how you might provide a good personal statement, here's some things to think about. First of all, we'd like you to make sure that you have thought really hard about the themes that we've mentioned and to plan it and prepare what you want to say. Give yourself enough time so that you can get all of the, th the things that you want to say into your personal statement. And then last of all, check it. Make sure that somebody else has read it through and that you've read it through, said it out loud before you send it off to us. So if you're not sure how to begin your application or you want some more advice, we would suggest that you come to one of our open days where you can meet members of the course team, you can talk to admissions um, and meet other members of the departments in the university and other students who are on the course um, and find out any information there. Or you can always contact us via email and ask us any questions that you might have. So the interview is an important part of our application process because it provides an opportunity for both yourself and for us to get to know each other, to find out things about you that didn't come across in your personal statement, for you to actually meet other students on the course and to talk to us and see whether this is the right choice for you. And we just want it to be a, a discussion, a dialogue about, um, about your future choices. So you will be interviewed by one of our course members. Um, and at that interview, you can expect some questions about why you want to be a counsellor and about your experience, your work experience and, and how you feel that prepares you for this, the course. There'll also be some scenarios for you to think about. And you'll also have a chance to ask us any questions about the course. And alongside that, we'll ask you to do a short written exercise um, on an ethical dilemma. So here's some things you might want to think about when you're preparing for your interview with us. First of all, what, is, what are you passionate about when you think about counselling? And what has brought you to this, this decision to apply for this course? And when you're thinking about that, you might want to draw upon personal experiences or on your work experience. Also thinking about your future career and what, where that might lead you in terms of your interests. And be thinking about the course itself, what you know about the course and any questions that you might have. The work experience that we look favourably on is that that includes direct support of others, um, particularly vulnerable others, helping others physically or emotionally to enable them to do things that they perhaps can't normally do. So top tips for preparing for interview. The first thing is to read through your a personal statement and to be really clear about uh, what, what you want to say to us about yourself. The second thing is to know about the course um, and to maybe prepare some questions to ask us. And the last thing is to be open and honest and to just be yourself because that's who we're trying to find out about. So you usually hear from us within a few days um, after your interview to let you know if you've been successful or not in your interview. So please keep an eye out on your emails from the University of South Wales. Mm -hmm.